Salesforce is the world's number one customer relationship management platform and is used by many Fortune 500 companies. They help businesses grow by helping them understand their customers' needs better. Salesforce has a customer base of over 1,50,000 companies comprising of all large-scale, medium-scale and small-scale enterprises. Also, IDC predicts that from 2019 to 2024, 4.2 million jobs will be created in the Salesforce ecosystem. This means it is a good time to start a new career in one of the most exciting industries out there. But before I talk more about Salesforce, I would like to address the agenda for today's session. So we will start a session by having a brief introduction to Salesforce. Then we'll understand who is a Salesforce admin and what are their roles and responsibilities. Next, we'll talk in detail about the Salesforce admin certification and what are the topics you need to learn for the certification. Finally, we will conclude the session by talking about how can you prepare for the admin certification exam. So now moving on to our first topic, what is Salesforce? Well, Salesforce is a cloud-based software company which provides customer relationship management service. Now, customer relationship management or CRM means a strategy which companies uses to administer its interaction with their customers. CRM system allows the companies to manage the customer relationship and interaction through a single tool, which provides a better customer experience and helps improving business outcomes. Talking about Salesforce, initially Salesforce started as a software as a service CRM companies and now it provides various software solutions and also a platform for users and developers to develop and distribute custom softwares. Salesforce offers a variety of products for companies such as the Salesforce Sales Cloud, the Marketing Cloud, the Service Cloud, the Community Cloud, the Analytic Cloud, App Cloud and a few more services. Each of the services has its own functionalities and can be used by different teams in the company. Like the sales team can use the Sales Cloud, the support team could use the Service Cloud and so on. Now, I guess you have some idea about what exactly is Salesforce. Now, let us move on to the next topic and see who is a Salesforce admin. A Salesforce admin or a Salesforce administrator is the individual who works with stakeholders to define requirements and to customize the Salesforce platform. To explain this in simple terms, it means they help users or clients to make the best use of Salesforce and its services. Now, a Salesforce admin best understands how to use the Salesforce platform for their company's unique needs. Salesforce admin are trusted advisors on all the things in Salesforce. They are a vital bridge between business and technologies. Now talking about some of the responsibility of a Salesforce admin, they help companies in automating complex business processes. They also help in creating reports and dashboard and training new users for using the Salesforce platform. Also for their team, they help them stay efficient and on top of the things while keeping an eye on the successes and customer relationships. Just to give an example of what a Salesforce admin does, Say a company has a sales team who uses the Salesforce Sales Cloud. Now to keep track of all the opportunities and to close deals, now the Salesforce admin can help the sales team set up personalized dashboards, create fields, alerts and reports to shorten the search cycle and track every lead in a greater detail. In this way, it will lead to greater satisfaction among salesperson as well as their customers. Now this was just an example. There are many tasks that the Salesforce admin does on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, Salesforce Admin is a career path for individuals who are passionate about learning many things and for professionals who enjoy working and using the latest technologies. Now, I think you have some idea about who is a Salesforce Admin. So now let us look at some of the roles and responsibility of a Salesforce Admin to understand what does an admin do on a day-to-day -day basis. Now, at some companies, administrator jobs are combined with other jobs. However, depending on the needs, some companies hire up for only their role specifically. So one of the core responsibility of a Salesforce admin is they should create new user profiles and monitor access level, which means they create each user account and determine the proper level of access to be given based on the employee's roles within the company, which means they create each user account and determine the proper level of access to be given based on the employee's role within the company. So when an employee is fired or leaves the company, it is a Salesforce administrator task to remove the access credential as well. The next role is they should ensure optimal performance of the Salesforce system and product and take care of upgrading and configuring Salesforce system for optimized integration. The third responsibility is they should import new leads and contacts for the sales team. They should oversee the importance of new leads and contacts on a daily basis. In larger corporations, they develop a standard operating procedure for this process that is allowed by entry-level market researchers and data analysts. The Salesforce admin also helps the sales team in creating reports and dashboard to analyze and to make better decisions. Their next responsibility is to perform database maintenance tasks, which includes diagnosis tests and duplicate data entry cleansing because duplicate data clocks up Salesforce and keeps it from running at full force. 
Salesforce Admin uses duplication tool like Demand Tool or Ring Lead to scrub duplicate data from the database at least once a week. Next, they are responsible for installing new Salesforce releases. A good Salesforce Admin installs update as soon as it is available. This allows them to test the update in control condition to see how it affects the system configurations. Along with this, they also provide training and support to the new employees. So you see, Salesforce Admin is a combination of many job roles and not just one particular job role. They're also responsible for documenting records and processes. The Salesforce administrators have to keep records that go back at least 12 months and preferably 18 months also. This includes documenting all error reports and all the changes to field history tables. They also help in automating complex business processes, managing Salesforce roles, profiles, sharing rules, workflow, and groups. And finally, they also address user issues. The Salesforce admin assists in addressing and solving any problems users are having with Salesforce. They also educate employees on new updates and onboard new hires whose roles involve access to Salesforce. So these were some of the roles and responsibility of a Salesforce admin. So I guess you have some idea about who is a Salesforce admin and what are their roles and responsibilities. Now to increase the chances of becoming a Salesforce admin, I would highly recommend you to take the Salesforce admin certification. Now if you're thinking how can this be helpful in becoming a Salesforce admin? Well, first of all, having a certification will provide you a validation of a Salesforce skill. Also, it can be very helpful for your job interviews as organization needs certified people. This is because clients generally prefer to work with companies whose employees are certified as it gives them assurance with regard to quality. Next, they also help in getting a job with a higher payday. Just to give you the numbers, according to Glassdoor, the average salary for a Salesforce admin in India is 5,17,000 and the average salary for a Salesforce admin in the United States is $93,000 per annum. So with this said, let us move on to the next topic and understand about Salesforce admin certification and how can it benefit you. So primarily, there are two certifications within the Salesforce Certified Administrator Program. The first is the Salesforce Certified Administrator Certification and the second one is the Salesforce Advanced Administrator Certification. Now the Salesforce Certified Administrator Certification focuses on the features and functionalities used to maintain a Salesforce implementation. The second certification is more targeted towards the Salesforce Certified Administrator who has mastered Salesforce configuration maintenance and can also demonstrate and can demonstrate an understanding of administration's best practices and also be able to use the advanced features and functionalities to solve a variety of business problems. Now after this two certification, there are three other admin certification which are CPQ Specialist, Marketing Cloud Administrator and Platform App Builder. Now CPQ Specialist is for individuals with experience in designing, building and implementing coding flows with CPQ technologies used to organize the sales team. Next, Marketing Cloud Administrator is for administrators who configure and troubleshoot configuration and user requests in the Marketing Cloud, which includes subscriber data management and setup navigation, which includes subscriber data management and setup navigation. And finally, we have the Platform App Builder. This certification is for individuals who are skilled in designing, building and implementing custom application on the Salesforce platform. So in today's session, we'll be primarily be talking about the Salesforce Administrator Certification. So now let us take a look at the admin certification exam guide. So each Salesforce certification exam contains 60 multiple choice questions. Five of those are not scored. That means your total score will be calculated based on your answers to just 55 questions. And the passing percentage is 65%. Next, the time allocated to complete the examination is 105 minutes or 1 hour 45 minutes. And the registration fees is 200 US dollars plus any applicable taxes as required per local law. And you can either choose for a proctor exam at the testing center nearby or in an online proctor environment. So this was the exam guide for the Salesforce admin certification. Now let us move on to the next topic and see what are the topics you need to learn for the Salesforce admin examination. So firstly, 20% of the questions are asked from configuration and setup, which basically includes questions based on proper setup of Salesforce environment and the maintenance of the user. It also majorly includes questions about security and access level in Salesforce. The next 20% of the questions are asked from Object Manager and the Lightning App Builder, where the questions are asked based on description of standard object architecture and relationship model and also based on Lightning App Builder. The next 12% of the questions are asked from Sales and Marketing Application, where scenario based questions are asked to identify the capabilities and implementation of the sales and marketing processes. After this, the next 11% of the questions are asked from Service and Support Application, which includes questions on case management and how to automate it. After this, the next 7% of the questions are asked from productivity and collaboration, which basically includes integration. 
The next 14% of the questions are asked from data and analytics management. The questions are asked from data validation tools and reports and dashboard in Salesforce. After this, 16% of the questions are asked from workflow or process automation, where we'll be expected to answer questions on how to automate solution based on the capabilities of various Salesforce tools. So these were the topics from which the Salesforce admin certification exam questions are asked. So now let us move on to a final and the most important topic, which is how to prepare for the certification. So my first tip would be to start with the basic. So firstly, understand the exam guide thoroughly so that you know what are the topics that are asked in the certification examination. Then focus on a few important topics from which the majority of the questions are asked. Some of the topics you need to focus more is on security in Salesforce. Now in this, you need to learn about the various security levels in Salesforce, which is organization level security, object level security, field level security, and record level security. This would also include how to create a new user account, how to set password policies, how to set access for the various user. Now, if you want to learn all this topic, just search for security in Salesforce video by Eureka. And in that video, I've talked about security in Salesforce in detail. The next topic we need to focus on is automation in Salesforce. This would include workflow, process builders, and approval processes. Remember in the exam, they're going to ask scenario based question. Like in this condition, what type of tools you're going to use or how are you going to go about that? So I want you to study all these topics in detail. Next, after automation, learn about sales, marketing, service, and support cloud. Then next, learn about how to create reports and dashboard using Salesforce and also about Lightning App Builder. So these were some of the important topics from which the majority of the questions are asked. So now let us move on to our next tip. My next tip is hands-on practice. Now this is a very important step. All the topics you've learned in the previous step, I want you to practice them. This will help you improve your knowledge and you will also be more clear about all the topics. So for learning purposes, Salesforce offers a free trial account. So all you have to do is go to the official website and create an account. Now it is very simple to create an account in Salesforce. All you have to do is enter a few details, set a password and your account will be created. After this, you can start practicing all the topics mentioned in the previous step. After the hands-on practice, the next step is to take the Salesforce practice test. Now the practice test will give you an opportunity to experience the format and questions you may see in the Salesforce administrator certification exam. Also, the result of the practice test will guide you and you will know your strengths and weaknesses. After this, you can focus on the area that you're weak on and learn those topics better. So for this, you just need to search online for some free Salesforce admin practice test. Also, if you visit the Salesforce admin certification official website, you will find a practice test which will help you prepare for the certification exam. If you want to follow a structured approach and want some expert guidance for preparing for the certification, then I would highly recommend Edureka certification training, which is curated by industrial professional and will help you learn about how to customize your application, including page layouts, fields, tabs, and business processes. It will also help you create a secure Salesforce environment, maintain and import clean data, create high value reports and dashboard and set up a workflow automation. All these topics can be very helpful for passing the Salesforce admin certification examination. And with this, we have come to the end of this video. I hope this video was helpful. Do comment your valuable comments in the comment section below. Happy learning.